Hi everyone, Miss Sam back from the library with another First Page Friday. So today I'm talking about Facing the Sun by Janice Lynn Mather. This is about four girls who live in the Bahamas. Uh, their names are Eve, Faith, Kiki, and Mia. And um, they are working together to save their beloved beach. Uh, they've used this beach their entire lives and it gets bought by hotel developers who want to um, build on it and close it off to the public. And they don't want to see that happen. So they have to come together to stop it. Um, but that's not the only conflict going on in the story. Each of them is also dealing with their own problems at home. You know, like a, a parent who's sick or general dysfunction within the home or, you know, just typical teenage girl problems, right? Um, so they'll have to overcome these challenges and stick together to save their community. So frankly, I didn't read it. I don't know what happens. You'll just have to pick it up yourself and see for yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into the first page. Chapter one begins with Kiki's perspective. Light filters through the trees and onto the sand, onto us. Eve and Mia toss a beach ball between each other, trying to avoid the thick bar of seaweed that snakes between shore and water, while I sit on the sand. Faith and tunes are calf deep in the sea. It's Friday, but it could be any day, any year. We're always here. Pinder Point isn't much. The sand is more gray than dazzling white. The water gets choppy often, and outcroppings of rock appear and vanish with the tides, so jet skiers don't come here to stun. Then again, all we need is some place to kick off our shoes, to wet our feet, maybe our hair. I recline on my elbows and let myself sink into the sand. Heads up, Eve hollers, and I duck as the ball just misses my head. I look past Nia at my brother, who's trying to pick up Faith and toss her into the water. Her long bare legs scissor the air as she squeals in unconvincing protests. I open my mouth to ask him why he's all over her today. Hey, beach closed. I turn to see a guy on the sand behind us, hands on his hips. He wears a t-shirt tucked into snug jeans and a baseball cap shields his face. So I had to cheat a little bit there, go on to the second page to finish the sentence. Um, but there you see it right from the get-go. They're getting kicked off a beach they've used their entire lives. So um, you'll just have to pick this one up and find out what happens. All right, so thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Keep an eye out for our programs and our videos and all the cool stuff we got going on at the library. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.